Well, sitting in Austin traffic in the morning and afternoon is a regular headache drivers deal with every day. Austin is one of the worst cities in the nation for traffic congestion. That's according to a new study released by Texas A&M. It says Austin ranks third among the 32 cities it looked at. Scott of KXAN's Katina McHenry live admits the gridlock. Katina. <laughs> Guys, take a look at this. Whoever came up with the phrase rush hour must not have had to sit in this traffic. Look at this. In both directions, it's congested. And experts say this traffic will only get worse as more people continue to move here if Austin doesn't improve its roads and also infrastructure. The fact that congestion is growing worse is uh, certainly not rocket science at all. He just recently moved down to the Circle C area, and so I'm thinking probably about an hour to hour and a half, both for both morning and afternoon. And 71 is real bad, especially off 35, gets to 71. And on the way back, it's just even more so, you know, maybe an hour and a half. I live in Round Rock, and it takes me an hour to get here almost. Our metro area is growing, continuing to grow, and with growth comes people, and with people comes more travel demand. The demand has spiked over the years. In fact, a new study shows in 1982, Austinites spent an average nine hours in traffic a year. That jumped to 38 hours of lost time in 2010. And drivers waste 10 gallons of gas a year just sitting. At the same time, uh, we're, we're really somewhat behind the power curve in terms of uh, handling the additional demand. As you'd expect, the top five worst cities, D.C., Chicago, L.A., Houston, and New York. Back here at home, Randy says it will only get better if the state and city continue to make improvements to mass transit systems. So we got to reduce demand and we got to increase capacity of the system. Actually, we have to do both. And drivers have their own method of handling their potential road rage. If you get the right radio station, it's not too bad. I just feel like, well, some drivers just can't drive, some can, you know. I just am patient because I know no matter what I do, I'm still going to hit the traffic. Well, those of you who have finally made it home, congratulations. The experts and in the study also say that the absolute worst times to travel, about 40% of the delays happen between 6 and 10 o'clock in the morning, and then right now, 3 and 7 o'clock in the evening. We're live in downtown Austin, Katina McHenry, KXAN News.